Cumagan, Cebuano, Liliwigan Sa Cumagan, is an island province in the Philippines located in the Bohol Sea, about 10 kilometers (6.2 miles) off the northern coast of Mindanao. It is politically part of the northern Mindanao region of the country and formerly a part of Misamis Oriental Province. Cumagan is the second smallest province in the country in both population and land area after Batanes. The provincial capital is Mambajao, which is also the province's largest municipality in both area and population. The province is famous for its sweet landzones, to which its annual landzones festival is dedicated, the picturesque sunken cemetery of Cumagan, and its interior forest reserves, collectively known as the Mount Hibok Hibok Protected Landscape, which has been declared by all Southeast Asian nations as an ASEAN Heritage Park. There have been moves to establish a dossier nomination for the province to be included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. History Etymology The name Cumagan is derived from the native word Kamagong, a species of ebony tree that thrives near Lake Mainit in the province of Surigao del Norte, the region from which the earlier inhabitants of the islands, the Manabos, came. Kinamigan, the local language of Cumagan, is closely related to the Manobo language, an earlier Spanish geography book spells the island as Camigang. There is reason to suppose the Spaniards dropped the final G. Today it is rendered as Cumagan. Classical era the island of Cumagan is believed to first have been inhabited by the Manobo people of Surigao del Norte, as evidenced by the distinctly connected language between the two groups. The island was used as a trading stop point by various merchants and traders from the Rajanate of Butuan, the Kadatuan of Dapitan, the ancient people of the Anda Peninsula, and possibly the Rajanate of Cebu and the animist Maranao of Lanao before the Islamization of the Lanao provinces. Spanish colonial era Old Spanish documents indicate that the renowned explorers Ferdinand Magellan and Miguel López de Legazpi landed in Cumagan in 1521 and 1565, respectively. The first Spanish settlement was established in 1598 in what is now Guinsilaban. Guinsilaban, which comes from the old Kinumagan word Jinzal Ipan, which means to look out for pirates from a watchtower, has an old Spanish watchtower where the Cumaganans kept watch for Moro pirates. The first major Spanish settlement, established in 1679, was called Catagman or Catadman, known as Catterman. The settlement grew and prospered but was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vulcan in 1871. The former location is what is now Barangay Bonbon of Catterman, Sagay, located south of Catterman, was formally established as a town in 1848. The word Sagay is derived from the name of poisonous fruit trees that grow in the area. Mambajau became a town in 1855. The name was coined from the Visayan terms Mamaha, meaning to usher breakfast, and Bajau, which is leftover boiled rice. In the early 1900s, Mambajau prospered and became the busiest port in northern Mindanao. Mahanag was established as a municipality in 1860. The name Mahanag comes from a Visayan word meaning to ripen or to become ripe. Although Gwinsilaban was the oldest settlement in the island, it was only in 1950 that it became a municipality. Mahanag was formerly governed by Mambajau while Gwinsilaban was formally governed from Sagay. American colonial era In 1901, in the middle of the Philippine-American War, American soldiers landed in Cumagan to assume political control over the island. A group of Cumaganans, armed with bolos and spears, led by Valero Camaro, fought them in a short battle in Catterman. Valero Camaro was killed by a bullet in the forehead and became one of the Come Again Patriots of the early independence movement. In 1903, the first public school in Come Again was built in Mambajau, and in 1904 the first public water system was installed. World War II On June 18, 1942, the Japanese Imperial Army landed in Come Again and set up a government in Mambajau. They gutted central Mambajau in reprisal to guerrilla activities in the area. The remains of some of these buildings still exist today. Independence On July 4, 1946, the Philippines gained independence from the U.S. Come again was then part of Misamis Oriental. 
In 1958, it became a sub-province. It was made into a separate province on June 18, 1966, and formally inaugurated in 1968. Geography The province consists primarily of Comagan Island, as well as a few other surrounding minor islets including White Island, about 5 kilometers (3.1 miles) west of the town of Mabajao. Mantigue Island, about 14 kilometers (8.7 miles) south of Mabajao. Physical. Comagan Island is a pearl-shaped island with an area of approximately 238 square kilometers (92 square miles). The island measures about 23 kilometers 14 miles at its longest and 14.5 kilometers 9.0 miles at its widest breadth. The island is mountainous with the highest elevation reaching over 5,000 feet 1,500 meters. It is encircled by a national road with a length of about 64 kilometers 40 miles. As of the August 1, 2007 census, the province has a fifth-class income classification with a population of 81,293. Administrative divisions Comagan comprises five municipalities, which are further subdivided into a total of 58 barangays. Demographics the population of Comagan in the 2015 census was 88,478 people, with a density of 370 inhabitants per square kilometer or 960 inhabitants per square mile. The people of Comagan are called Camiguignan or Comagenan, Spanish, Camagenos, M. Camagenos, F. The language widely spoken in the province is Cebuano, while only a few people still speak Kinamigan, the ancient tribal language of Comagan. Today, Kinamigan is only predominantly spoken in the municipalities of Sagay and Guinsilaban. Tagalog and English are also widely spoken by the local population. Religion Comagan is a predominantly Roman Catholic province with 95% adherents. The remaining religions are represented by various Protestant and few Islamic groups. Economy the economy is based upon fishing and farming, with copper providing the greatest income contribution. Land zones has since then became the main agricultural product of the island province. Other agricultural products are abaca, rice, mangoes and other fruit trees. The growing tourism industry has improved the economy of the province. Small cottage industries have increased in number to accommodate the influx of visitors. Education Comagan has three colleges, Fatima College of Comagan, FCC, Comagan Polytechnic State College, CPSC, with a satellite campus and Comagan School of Arts and Trades, CSAT, and a technical education offered by the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, TESDA. A complete secondary and elementary education is available as well, both in private and public. There are also day care centers offering nursery and preschool education. The province has a total number of 68 day care centers managed by the Department of Social Welfare and Development DSWD, and 56 public and private elementary schools. There are 13 secondary schools, 3 private institutions, and the rest government-owned. There is one special school, which accommodates underprivileged or special children, the family-to-family -family school and farm. It is managed by a non-government organization, NGO. There is also the Alternative Learning System Education Sector which helps individuals through its Literacy Cum Livelihood Program. Man-made attractions Land Zones Festival Each year in the third week of October, a festival is held to celebrate the land zones locally called Biwahan, Buahan, a small grape-sized tropical fruit grown all over the island. The week-long Landzones Festival is one of the more colorful events in the Philippines. Churches Several centuries-old Spanish colonial and 20th-century churches are found in various parts of the island. 
Santo Rosario Church The Santo Rosario Church in the municipality of Sagay was built in 1882. Old Catterman Church Ruins The church of the Old Catterman town was destroyed and partly submerged by volcanic debris during the eruption and formation of Mount Vulcan from 1871 to 1875. Also known as Gui Og Church, only the ruins of the church and bell tower remains of the old town. A modern white lighthouse was recently erected close to the bell tower. Bailao Church, the church located in Brigi. Bailao in Mambajau is claimed to be miraculous attributed to saving many lives during the last volcanic eruption of Hibok Hibok, churches in come again. Old Ancestral Homes Beautiful and ornate ancestral homes dating back to the Spanish colonial period and American colonial period are still abundant and can be found along the streets of come again. Natural attractions Volcanoes The island of come again, of volcanic origin, is composed of four stratovolcanoes. Each volcano, except Mount Guinsilaban, is made up of several flank domes. The only volcano in the island with historical eruptions is Hibok Hibok, which last erupted in 1953. Below are the list of volcanoes, arranged with respect to its location from north to south. Mount Hibok Hibok and Mount Vulcan are the northernmost and the only active volcanic vents in come again. Mount Vulcan, ironically known as the Old Volcano, 671 meters, 2201 feet, is actually the youngest volcano in the island, born in 1871, starting as a fissure vent on the northwestern flank of Mount Hibok Hibok, 4370 feet, 1330 meters. See volcanic eruption below. As a parasitic cone of Hibok Hibok, it is still considered part of volcano. Some of the other flank domes of the volcano are Carling Hill, Trace Marias Hills and Piacong Hill. Ilahan Crater is the site of the 1950 eruption. Mount Timpung is the largest mountain in come again. It is composed of several domes, the tallest of which is Timpung Peak, also the highest in come again at 5,294 feet 1,614 meters. The peak of Mambajau is the second tallest at 5,143 feet 1,568 meters. A lower central peak of 5,015 feet 1,529 meters is located between the two peaks. Some of the flank vents on Mount Timpung are Kampana Hill and Minokal Hill. Mount Bate, also known as Mount Yuhe, is located between the towns of Mahanog and Gwinsilaban. Mount Gwinsilaban is located in the town of Gwinsilaban. The 1,872-foot-high mountain is the southernmost volcano and the first seen coming from the port of Balingon in mainland Mindanao. The volcanoes have come again. Islands Located just a few kilometers off the coast are the two islands of come again. White Island can be accessed from a goho which is about 5 kilometers 3.1 miles west of the town of Mambajau. Mantigue Island can be reached from Mahanog about 14 kilometers 8.7 miles south of Mambajau. Springs Ardent Hibok Hibok Hot Spring At the foot of Hibok Hibok Volcano Bubble the mineral pools of Ardent Hot Springs. Wisps of steam can be seen rising from the running waters heat by the cauldron of the mountain, the most recently active of the seven volcanoes on the island. Sto, Niño Cold Springs and Burra Natural Soda Water Swimming Pool in Catterman are other popular places to get a relaxing dip on the island. Tangav Hot Spring is an interesting hot spring located on the shore close to the sunken cemetery. Most of the spring is submerged and can be partly seen during low tide. The spring can also be examined by scuba diving or snorkeling, as visibility is excellent and it is also a recommended spot for observing underwater life. Sunken Cemetery During the volcanic birth of Mount Vulcan lasting from 1871 to about 1875, some areas in the town of Bonbon subsided, sinking the cemetery of the town to below sea level. The place is commemorated by a huge cross erected in 1982. 
Since then the municipality of Bonbon has been transferred to the town of Caterman. Waterfalls Catabawasan Falls Located 5 kilometers 3.1 miles southeast of Mambajao, the Catabawasan Falls cascades 250 feet 76 meters down to a pool surrounded by orchids and ferns. An invigorating dip on the pool is popular especially on warmer days, and several hiking trails are within the park. This is also the favorite jump-off point for trekkers and mountaineers in search of adventure on the slopes of Mount Timpong. Tuasan Falls is located 6 kilometers 3.7 miles northeast of Katerman. Unfortunately, accessing the falls no longer entails a scenic hike passing through the barrio of Mainit, Katerman and along the rocky riverbed. The local government, to accommodate local tourism, decided in 2012 to improve access to the falls with a road built all the way up to the falls, finished in late 2014. You can park your car near the waterfalls, and from there it's just a few minutes to reach the falls and the pool. The pool at the base of the waterfall is deep and clear. At the time of this writing, March 2015, the local government is finalizing construction of the Trans Island Highway, a road crossing come again from Katerman to Mambajau which runs directly to the left of Tuasan Falls. Protected areas Timpung and Hibok Hibok Natural Monument Located in the central and western portions of Kumagan, the natural monument preserves an important watershed and center of biodiversity in the Mount Hibok Hibok and Timpung Ranges. As the island's only remaining forest, it supports the vast majority of the island's endemic and endangered flora and fauna such as the Kumagan hanging parrot, Kumagan hawk owl and Kumagan forest mouse. Flora and fauna at least five vertebrate species are believed to be endemic to come again. Bulimus gamay, or the come again forest rat. Apamis come againensis, the come again forest mouse. Lauriculus come againensis, the come again hanging parrot. Oreo nana, or the come again narrow mouthed frog. Ninix leventizi, or the come again hawk owl. Transportation Both Cebu Pacific and Philippine Airlines serve daily flights from Mactan Cebu International Airport to Cumagan Airport and vice versa. Visitors may fly to Laguindangan Airport in Cagayan de Oro City in Misamis Oriental Province, the gateway to northern Mindanao. From the airport, a shuttle ride ferries visitors to the Agora Bus Terminal in Cagayan de Oro. Eastbound buses take visitors to the port of Balingon, Misamis Oriental in about two hours. The ferries to Benoni Port take just over an hour, depending on weather conditions, and have more scheduled trips as it takes passengers closer to Mambajau. The time between trips varies during the day and runs from 4 a.m. to 5 p.m. A super shuttle Roro transports passengers daily from Cumagan's port of Balbagan to Bohol. S port of Jagna and vice versa. Natural calamities Volcanic activity from 1871 to 1875 On February 16, 1871, earthquakes began to be felt on the island, which increase in severity until April 30, when a volcanic fissure opened up 400 yards southwest of the village of Katerman, northwest of Hibok Hibok Volcano. Mount Vulcan was born and continued erupting pouring lava into the sea at the same time gaining in height and width. In 1875, the Challenger expedition visited the area and described the mountain as a dome, 1,950 feet 590 meters in height, without any crater, but still smoking and incandescent at the top. The town of Katerman was destroyed and portion of the town sank beneath the sea. The settlement moved to where the town center is presently located and today, all that remains of old Catterman are the ruins of the ancient Spanish church, a convent and a bell tower. Eruptions from 1948 to 1951 From 1948 to 1951, Mount Hibok Hibok was constantly rumbling and smoking. 
The first minor eruption in 1948 caused little damage and loss of life, but in 1949, the larger eruption caused 79 deaths due to pyroclastic flows. The largest eruption occurred the morning of December 4, 1951. The volcano unleashed lava flows, poisonous gases, and pyroclastic flows destroying nearly 19 squares kilometers of land, particularly in Mambajau. All in all, over 3,000 people were killed. Before the eruption of Mount Hibok Hibok in 1951, the population of Kumagan had reached 69,000. After the eruption, the population was reduced to about 34,000 due to massive outmigration. Typhoon of 2001 A disastrous typhoon hit the province in the dawn of November 7, 2001. The tropical storm named Lingling, local name Nanong, brought Buhawi torrential downpours on the mountains causing multiple massive mudslides killing about 200 inhabitants, most were missing. See also List of volcanoes in the Philippines List of islands in the Philippines References External links Media related to come again at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to come again at OpenStreetMap Province of Come Again official website Map of Come Again from Visayan Silent Gardens Landzones Festival Come Again Island Come Again Global Volcanism Program, Smithsonian Institution